Hi guys, it's Jay again from My Abba's Wins. I am back to do your reading for August 2021. Um, summer Tarot Gumbo for the sign of Libra. Um, I am doing something a little um, different, okay, for the summertime. I call it Summer um, Tarot Gumbo because it's going to be a mix of oracle cards that I created. Um, and I'm not going to be... Um, including like traditional tarot um, because like I said in previous videos there's plenty of like really good tarot card readers that um, do traditional tarot and so I'm just going to keep it to um, oracle cards okay um, if you like what I'm doing please like the video definitely share and certainly subscribe if you like a private reading you can email me at ayabaswind the wynd 999 at gmail.com um what I'm doing is I'm reading um, one sign from each astrological group um, <clears throat> and then I'm going to go back and do the next set of signs, okay? So that way you can kind of like check in to see what's happening with a particular sign within your, um, your astrological group to kind of get an idea of what the flavor of your reading might be, okay? Um, I... I summertime in the city guys I apologize it's like it's an assault on the senses there's a lot going on um and so that that is why the readings are not as consistent um in the summertime um everyone is out enjoying the summer including me um so but I will definitely be definitely on my a game for the fall and for the winter okay um yeah so if you'd like a private reading like I said Email me at ayabaswind, W-Y-N-D, 999 at gmail.com. We're going to get started. If you don't like the shuffling, you can skip to minute four. Um, and so let's go. All right. Woo! Okay, these cards are flying out. Let me get it in the order in which it came. Okay, guys, <clears throat> so, um, okay, just FYI, the first card that usually opens up the reading is the card that you want to be most concerned about, okay, because it's going to kind of set the storyline for how things are going to flow, okay, so, ooh, okay, we have a time frame. That was the card that wanted to come out. Okay, so yeah. All right, Libras, a war is coming and the tower will fall. Okay, so there is a warring energy around you. Um, and keep in mind, these readings can cover the next several days, several weeks, or several months. These things could have taken place in the recent past, they could be happening now or they could happen in the near future. Spirit is saying that there's a war coming, okay? You may have had an, uh, you know, an inkling, some kind of feeling that mm, something's not right. Um, Spirit is saying you better watch your back, okay? 
someone is wearing a false mask. So there is someone around you that is fake and phony. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. All I can say is like, there is a snake. There's someone who puts on a face around you in your face. And then they talk behind your back. You know, two timing, double dealing. This is what these are the words spirit is giving me. Okay. Release an old lover in order to start a new relationship. Okay. So what spirit is saying is that if you want things to go right in your love life, you got to let go of a past relationship. Okay. Because what spirit is saying that person has moved on. But for some reason, you are holding on to a past lover. You are holding on to, they may not be in your physical space, but you're holding on to ideas, to emotions regarding that person. And spirit is saying that that is blocking progress and you attaining a long lasting love relationship. A special person wants a long-term commitment with you. Okay, here we go. But the only way that this long-term commitment can be realized, can happen, is if you get, you release in your mind, your body, and your spirit, the idea of the notion of this person that you are stuck on. money cards to the bank. So money could be coming in or money could be going out and flowing like water in a basket. And we all know that baskets can't handle, can't hold water. <laughs> okay. So spirit is saying you got to watch your money. The ancestors and spirit guides want acknowledgement. Okay. They're trying to get your attention. Okay. Light them up, light a candle, get a glass of water, put a, you know, a bouquet of flowers, say some prayers, light peace and progress to the spirit of, and start naming your ancestors, people who have crossed over in your bloodline, who did not abuse you, you know, molest you, you know, or anything like that. Don't mention their names, but, you know, start bigging them up, giving them acknowledgement, because the ancestors and spirit guides, they're tugging at you and they want attention. There are multiple lovers with this person. So what spirit is saying is that you could be watching this, you could have multiple lovers or someone that you're dealing with in the love story has multiple lovers. But spirit is saying somebody is seeing multiple people. Like there's multiple people around in the energy as far as love relationships are concerned. And spirit is saying that there's a particular relationship that is over, is over, okay? And maybe it's over because there were multiple people involved. Maybe that's what spirit is saying. But baptism in the river, okay? So what spirit is saying is that there is someone, and this is more than likely you, that you need a cleaning. Now, I'm not saying go jump in the river. <laughs> Please don't jump in the raging rapids, okay? That's not what this is saying. This is saying that you need a spiritual cleaning. There is something around you, either something you're doing, some energy that's around you that is, is tainting your, your energy, your aura, okay? And that there has to be a cleaning done. And, and this is not just a little cleaning. <laughs> this is a big cleaning, okay? Definitely, you got to do, you know, some spiritual baths. We don't pay Saragüe. Keep the maldición to cut and get rid of negative energy. Um, and then you can do a white bath. And the spirit is saying there's something that's around you that's not good for you. You will be famous or meet a famous person. So what spirit is saying is that you could be watching this and you could be famous. I do have... <clears throat> people that consult with me that are celebrities, okay? Or have some level of celebrity. So spirit could be acknowledging you watching this, that's one. Two, you could be well-known in your circles, okay? 
and however you flow spirit is saying that you know a lot of people know you or you could be coming into connection with someone who has a level of celebrity you could be famous you could save somebody and be famous spirit is saying that there's some level of fame and notoriety there's no trust between us so in some kind of relationship that you're in there's no trust okay people are kind of looking at each other like side eyed like mm, okay <laughs> you say you're going here but we all know <laughs> you're really going to this one's house okay so spirit is saying that there's no trust a spiritual cleaning is needed again so mm, i don't know what's going on but i'm just feeling and spirit is saying that someone in this love story their hands are dirty <laughs> their hands are dirty and i'm not saying physically dirty i'm saying that there's something going on okay because you guys started out with a war is coming okay that is the 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 undercurrent of this reading so spirit is saying you got to clean up because there's something coming okay as a result of this energy i'm not saying you doing all this <laughs> but there's this energy around you okay several months okay so several months puts us in um february around valentine's day so something is going to happen between now and in february that you got to keep your eyes open for maybe it's a wedding maybe it's a pregnancy maybe it's a birth of a baby maybe it's someone crossing over into the ancestor realm okay something's gonna happen i'm having an affair with someone okay so someone is stepping out and seeing somebody else if this has not happened yet it may happen in the next several months okay but someone is having an affair someone's stepping out and doing something and their secrets and lies so this is this the, there is a relationship in this love story that is built on secrets and lies <laughs> it may look good to the public <laughs> but on the inside it it ain't no good okay so something is going on here let's take it a step further this deck has the sign so let's see if spirit gives you the signs you know i don't like calling out signs there's fire involved in this this love story it's some someone with fire you can have fire in your chart and then <laughs> another wow the signs are popping out for you the spirit is giving you the signs of people that are involved in this love story okay and spirit doesn't do that for all signs oh my god <laughs> this is crazy they're giving a description of someone in the love story Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Another description. Look, as I'm shuffling, spirit. I'm hearing that nasty hoe, <laughs> okay? So look, I don't know who you're dealing with, but spirit is like mm, not feeling, 
this particular person or this someone that's around you that spirit is not feeling because i'm i heard just heard that nasty hoe or maybe you were referring to someone as a nasty hoe <laughs> okay but i just heard that and i don't use that term Okay, I think this deck is done. Okay, here we go. All right. All right, so let's get started. All right. So spirit is, is um, now going into the psychology of either you or someone in this love story. And they're talking about childhood trauma affects how this person is in a relationship. Okay. So what spirit is saying is that, you know, maybe there are like, there are multiple people involved in this relate. Maybe this person is dealing with multiple people as a result of maybe not having a parent present. Maybe the mother was not around or the father was not around. You know, a lot of times, you know, because the mother is supposed to be nurturing, that maternal energy is really significant in how a child comes up, how a child develops, okay? So it could be something about, you know, either your childhood or someone around you where the mother mother energy was not strong, it wasn't present, or it was kind of, it maybe it wasn't nurturing, okay? There's some kind of trauma that affects how relationships play out, okay? There is a Sag Leo or Aries energy around you, someone with fire. Now you as a Libra could have fire in your chart. You could have Leo, um, you can have fire um, in your moon, your rising, your Venus. That's a possibility. Or someone figures prominently that is a fire sign, okay? And then you have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, right? So Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces could be someone who you're dealing with. Or this could be in your astrological profile, okay? It could be not your sun, we know you're a Libra, but it could be your moon, your Venus, or your rising. That could figure prominently in how relationships play out. But there's a watery energy around you. Someone is muscular, okay? Someone has a muscular build, spirit is acknowledging this. And maybe, and then, what it's saying is you have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, air. So we know you're an air sign, but maybe spirit is describing you as being muscular, okay? Um, or that there's an air sign that's around you um, that you're dealing with. Maybe they have a muscular physique too, okay? But what spirit is saying that there's danger from a car accident. Okay, so someone has to be very careful with when driving around cars. You could have gotten in an accident. There could be an accident that's going to happen. This car, this card about a car accident came right after the Libra Gemini Aquarius. So it could be this air sign that gets into a car accident. Okay, spirit is saying a friend cannot be trusted. Okay, someone is false. Someone is fake and phony, like I said in the beginning, and someone cannot be trusted. So you gotta watch, and I'm hearing like foes, like people around you that don't have your back, okay? And then someone's short. So maybe it's a friend who is short that cannot be trusted. Spirit is giving the description of this person. There's also someone that has curly hair that is somewhere in the love story, okay? And mantras for love, okay? So Spirit is saying mantras for love would be good for you. So you can do, um, you could do um, Aham Prima, which is the mantra for divine love, okay? And it helps to fill you with love and then thus you will attract love, okay? Um, and you know I'm big on your mantras and getting mala beads, okay? Um, this is 108 beads. You should say the mantras 108 times in the morning and also 108 times at night. Um, if you do not have mala beads, you can set your, um, your phone timer for like eight to 10 minutes and do the mantras that way. But spirit is saying you definitely have to cultivate love, like a more loving energy around you. Okay. 
in order to see things manifest for you, right? So let's, now this red and white deck is not a joke, not a game. The messages are, are heavy, all right? too many cards. cards we'll take this one Okay, we have some double confirmation. Yeah. Oof. Wow. Okay. All right, so we're going to leave it at that. This deck is is pretty much the the bulk of the reading, okay? So I'm deeply in love with you, but don't know how to show it. So someone is really, really feeling someone. There's like this deep-rooted love, like heart connection, okay? Um, and it's, it's different. Um, it's difficult to experience to feel because it, it's almost it almost likes take it almost like takes your breath away okay that's how deep it is um watch who you leave your kids with possible abuse or molestation so this can mean a couple of things this could mean <clears throat> that um that as a child you could have been molested or abused, okay? And spirit is acknowledging that, okay? The other piece of this is if you have children, you have to definitely watch who you leave your children with. And that includes family members, okay? Because you don't know who has been touched inappropriately. Are these people resolved? Have they gotten therapy for it? You know, things of that nature, okay? So spirit is saying you definitely got to be careful, okay? Um, I'm addicted to you and everything about you. So there is, someone is open off of you or you could be all open off of someone. But someone is really like, wow. <laughs> okay, they're blown away. All right, someone has paid someone to do a love spell, okay? So someone is doing spell work, you know, in this love story to try and either get someone, try to keep someone, Okay, um, it is a love spell. Okay, I don't see someone trying to break someone up. Maybe this love spell has been done to kind of like, you know, keep the interest on someone. Someone has been doing some spell work. Okay, I'm cheating on you by going on social media and hooking up with people. <clears throat> okay, so someone is like, Hook, doing hookups. They, I mean, they could be on Hinge, they could be on Bumble, they could be on Tinder, you know, um, and, you know, Facebook and Instagram. I'm sure they have their own dating platforms, but someone is using these social media platforms to hook up, <laughs> okay? Um, and it's, yeah, it's, I mean, that's what it is, hookups. It could be a one night stand or it could be just like hooking up with the person when you need to be in that way, <laughs> okay? 
and maybe this is causing problems in another relationship, okay? Spirit is saying a toxic ex tries to block and prevent this connection. So there could be someone that's around you, okay? And, and there's someone who's around you, okay? That is um, doing things to make sure that you don't leave them, okay? Um, yeah, they're doing things. And, you know, I'm not saying that uh, maybe they're going to someone to get the work done, okay? They could be doing little YouTube spell work, <laughs> okay, or something. But there is someone who is trying to keep you or hold on to you. Maybe you're doing this to someone, but someone is doing it. Someone, there is a toxic ex, okay, that is doing something to prevent someone from progressing in love. You have been cursed and need a spiritual cleaning and reading. Okay, here we go. So this is saying that someone is working on you and it is not the person who you think it is, okay? You could be in denial of who this person is. This is what spirit is saying. But spirit is saying you have been cursed and you need a spiritual clean, okay? The secret admirer, I want to be more than just friends, okay? So maybe you could be watching someone on social media and you really, you know, you want to be more than just friends with them, okay? Or maybe this person is watching you and, you know, they want to be more than just friends with you, but someone is watching you. I'm obsessed with your pictures on social media. Yep. Here we go. That's that page of swords. Like someone is watching someone, okay? And they're like obsessed with, and I'm not saying that every you know, Instagram page is an illusion, but someone is really caught up in, I want to say the illusion of someone and how they present themselves. Okay. So spirit is saying that someone is caught up in this. It, you could be caught up in someone or someone could be caught up in you. But social media is playing a big role in this. Okay. And after that, it's lies and deception. So yeah, so Spirit is saying that this is, um, you know, you're caught up in an illusion because the illusion is lies and deception. Not everything that this person is presenting to you that you're attracted to is real, <laughs> okay? They're painting um, a scenario, a picture that they, that is, um, I'm hearing like an a trap, like an allure, all right? Um, accidents and injuries. So this is a double confirmation. So you definitely got to be careful with accidents and injuries um, if you haven't suffered it already. There's a serial cheater. So maybe whoever is the person that is cheating over and over again, violating a relationship, this is the person that could be the one that could be suffering the accidents and injuries, okay? Now, on the flip side is I love making love to you. So someone really, you know, loves, you know, being in this person, feeling this person, okay? And, you know, yes, it's a physical, it's a sexual thing, but there's, and there's another level, you know, and that's why this person loves making love to this person. All the pain I caused in this relationship is coming back to me as karma. Okay, so, you know, someone who violated the relationship is going to be, you know, suffering. <laughs> okay, now, the divine has it in their own mind as to when this is going to take place. I can't tell you it's going to take place next week. Okay, you did get some time frames here. So maybe the karma is going to be hitting someone at around that time. Or maybe the karma is going to come in the form of an accident or injury. But, and I tell, and I said in the other readings that I've done, that, you know, people have to be careful. Because if you violate someone, if you disrespect someone, if you disregard someone, you are not only disregarding and disrespecting that person, you are disrespecting 
the whole entire entourage, spiritual entourage of that person, okay? So that person that you're violating may not be vocal, you know, may not be a great communicator, <laughs> may be timid and shy, but the spirits that walk behind them and with them <laughs> are not. They could be savages. And so the violation you do to this person can come back to you in a very nasty way. Okay, so I'm not saying you're the one that did it, but somebody is gonna pay, okay? Spirit wants you to spend time in nature to heal yourself, okay? Connect with nature, go to the rivers, the lakes. Don't jump in the river, <laughs> but sit by the river, sit by the lake, sit on top of the hill, feel the breeze, connect with the grass, the trees. Spirit is saying that that will be good for you. Okay, and chakra work is needed. So, you know, we're going to talk about, okay, we know that there's more than seven chakras, but we're talking about the seven chakras. There's something with your chakras that is misaligned. Okay, and so that there are chakra activities that will be listed in the description that you can um, do to realign yourself. Okay, and these are based on beige sounds for each chakra so that your kundalini can be free to flows flow and rise so that you can uh, you know um have a full spiritual awakening you know activate your third eye strengthen your third eye your intuition okay because there's something maybe in your lifestyle that you are doing that is interfering with your chakras Maybe it's drugs and alcohol. Maybe it's people who you're having sex with that you could be exchanging energy with these people who do not have a good energy or a good vibe, okay? It's something that it's, it's a part of the lifestyle that is impacting your your um, your, your um, chakras, okay? And finally, I never knew love like this before. So this, whatever this love thing is, it is extremely intense, okay? You know, and like I said, you know, I'm hearing like, um, it's almost like it, it becomes hard to breathe. This is the, um, what deck is this? The Sibylla deck. No, that's too many cards. Spirit is telling me also too, you gotta watch a Gemini. Okay. There's you gotta watch a Gemini. There's a Gemini around you that could be very uh, two-faced. They could present one way. And it's, I'm hearing spirit, but like it's in someone else's, like some spirit is saying something about be about their money, be about their money. Okay. Something about be about the money. Um. All right. So, so you have the hope card. The hope card came to the side. This is not hope. I don't know why they chose this picture for the word hope. There's no other way to interpret this, but someone being curled up. That is not hopeful. That does not represent hope. Okay. Um, but look, this came to the side. So spirit is saying that there could be some emotional you know, ups and downs and challenges regarding the some kind of outlook, maybe as it relates to love, okay? There may be some suffering, emotional suffering involved. Um, you did get um, the enemy, okay? So this enemy came to the side. So this enemy is, is hidden, but there is an enemy that's around you, okay? 
you know, the card after that you got was um, falseness, okay? So this person is really not a good person to be around, okay? Um, and right after that, you have the wedding card, which also was reversed. So there is a relationship that is not based on purity of love, okay? It's not based on that. Like that foundation is rocky. There's a relationship, there is a marriage, that is not that that's not good. It's 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 on false pretense. Okay? It's it's on an illusion. It's on illusions, okay? And you have constancy which is also reverse. So there's going to be there's um what do you call it? Not insufficiencies but um and not inadequacies. Um inconsistencies. Okay? Something it is not, there are things that are not going to match up, okay? And and I'm, it's, Spirit is showing me like a, a tower of cards that people build these tower with playing cards and it falls, it crumbles. Like there's not a solid foundation, okay? And someone's money is going to be affected if it's not already be effect, being affected. The fortune is in reverse, okay? Now also too, I'm getting that there's a feminine energy, and remember, men can have feminine energies too. But there's a feminine energy that is, you know, all about money, all about indulgence, okay, and going overboard. And maybe this is why this relationship is not, it's not founded, um, Spirit is saying it's not founded on principle, <laughs> okay? This is what Spirit is saying, okay? You have a servant card, all right? That servant card to me is the ancestors. So the ancestors are showing up here. They want attention. They want to be able to help a situation. They're here at attention, okay? You have the thief card as well. So the thief card represents deception. It represents cheating, you know, violating someone, you know, doing things very, being sneaky, okay? And spirit is saying that there is someone here who's being very sneaky. Um, you know, also too, that someone is about the money. Okay, yet again, this thing with the money, the money, the money. And so someone could be stealing money. Somebody could be coercing someone out of money. But nevertheless, someone is doing that. You know, and there's emphasis on this shadow so this is, you know, someone operating on their shadow side, like the dark side is, is taking prominence, is, is taking control, okay, over the situation. It's just like, you know, like if you've ever seen Spider-Man versus Venom, okay, it's almost like this person is operating in Venom mode as opposed to, you know, the Spider-Man mode, mode, okay? acting for the good, okay? And then you have letter. There's going to be some kind of message, email, text message, DM that comes in that's gonna be very, I'm hearing, very disconcerting or disturbing, okay? Let me do the Kipper deck now. Oh, this card was mixed in here. Right. Okay. All right, so let's get into it. So we ended off on the Sibylla deck with some kind of news or information is going to be coming in. That card continued over into the Kipper deck, which is the courthouse, okay? This card came to the side. 
So there's some kind of legal action. There's some kind of paperwork. There's someone that's delivering information that is, is, is going to be related to the courts. Spirit is saying that this person you can't, you thought you could trust this person, but you can't. Okay. And that this person plays both sides. They act like you're, they're your friend. They're cool with you, the homie, but they're, de they're delivering information to the other side. Okay. And then you have the gift card reverse. So it's something about a gift that is going to, someone thinks that it's a good thing, but it's not a good thing. Someone's money could be messed up. Something that someone was expecting may, initial, may initially may not have come through, okay? There is, a, you know, an older woman, a mature woman that figures prominently in here, okay? You know, and I'm, what I'm seeing is that this woman is not happy. She's not happy. She could either be alive or she could be an ancestor. You know, I'm, my, my head is tingling. There are flowers in the background. She may be crossed over, but she's not happy. All right? And she, she's not happy. Her, the look on her face, you see it? <laughs> she's not happy. All right. Um, you have toil and labor. Okay, so so how I'm seeing this is that you know your ancestor, the ancestors here are speaking. You know, I'm hearing that they worked hard. They worked really, really hard so that this person the spirit is referring to would not have to work so hard, okay? Um, and they're not happy, <laughs> they're not happy, okay? Spirit is saying that they worked hard so that you, or this person that is involved in the love story wouldn't have to work so hard. So something is going on where they don't like what's happened, okay? And then you have imprisonment. So someone currently feels like a prisoner or they're actually about to go to prison, okay? Because you have the court, you have the law, you have this thieving energy here, something's up. Let's, I'm going to do my 95 South deck, which is like an old to the 80s. You know, 80s are coming back as far as like style is concerned, fashion, okay? Okay, and so this is gonna be like cover um, like movies from the 80s, um, sayings from the, uh, the South, um, and also uh, literature. So let's see. Um, so I'm still standing. Elton John. Okay. This is a popular song from the 80s. If you think this fool would never win, well, look at me now. Okay. So someone is having victory. They're still standing. They made it. <laughs> okay. 
But that card right after that is digging your own grave. So Spirit is saying you definitely got to be careful because there's something that you may be doing or something that someone is doing around you that can um, hasten uh, an event that won't be so pleasant, okay? Right after that, I got, um, you'll catch more flies with honey than vinegar. So, you know, Spirit is saying that maybe you could be a little reckless with the tongue and that you have to maybe learn how to sweeten up your words a little to smooth things over, to, to make things a little bit easier, okay? This is what I'm getting, okay? The Spirit is saying, like, your, your tongue could be lethal. A rolling stone gathers no moss. So what is this saying? Like it's the saying down south where someone, this is like Papa was a rolling stone basically. So wherever he laid his hat was his home. So with someone who is with multiple partners, multiple people and, or that this person doesn't stay around long enough um, to grow something significant. It's like they go from one relationship to another, but they, there's never enough foundation laid or the person doesn't stay around long enough for anything to grow significant. Only you can make me happy surface. You must be heaven sent into my life, a love that is strong and true. So basically, Spirit is saying that there is someone in your love story that will bring you the fulfillment and the love and the happiness but it's this one particular person, okay? May not be the person you're with. There is someone that can bring fulfillment. You may not be with this person. It could be the special person. Had the time of my life. Um, this is that song, um, uh, Dirty Dancing, I think, from that movie. You're the one that I can't get enough of. This could be love, okay? So this is the person that you are feeling deep emotions for, that this person is feeling deep emotions for you, okay? I had the time of my life. It was unlike anything you ever experienced. Vampires love to gossip. They live for drama, okay? This comes from the book um, Pure Blooded by Amanda Carlson, Okay. So Spirit is saying that there's a lot of gossip, there's a lot of tongues on you, there's a lot of blood sucking people around you, okay? And I'm not saying literally sucking your blood like a vampire, but people who could be leeching off of you, could, who could want things from you, maybe you could want things from someone, but it's Spirit is saying like, you know, this gossip is causing drama, like there's just drama, Okay as a result of all this gossip and talk. The spirit is saying one man's trash is another man's treasure, okay? So what one person won't do, the other person will, <laughs> okay? Um, every shut eye ain't asleep. So spirit is saying that there are eyes watching you. So you think you may be moving very slippery and sly and under the radar, <laughs> but you not. Spirit is saying that you are being watched. There's There are eyes on you. And they can play like they're not watching you. They can act like they're sleeping. And I'm not saying literally sleeping at night. I'm saying you think that this person doesn't know what you're doing, but they know. Or vice versa. Backseat driver. So someone likes to... <laughs> be running the show when it's not their position and be running the show, okay? Their cornbread is not done in the middle. We all know that cornbread that is not cooked all the way, it ain't no good. So what Spirit is saying that, that someone in this respect, someone is not right in the head, like something's a little off, <laughs> okay? They're not fully there yet. Okay, and this is what spirit is saying. Cold as ice. Someone is a little cold. They're a little cold. Okay, or maybe a relationship went cold. 
someone ghosted someone, okay, and then devil's advocate, okay? So this is someone who's dealing in darkness, you know, and, and I talked about the shadow self, okay? And this dealing in darkness and in the shadow self and maybe dealing with people with low vibration, okay, or having people around you that are low vibration is not conducive to moving upward, okay? All right, so let me, <clears throat> let's see who the people are that are involved before I close. It's interesting because when I did Leo, Spirit didn't want to give up descriptions because it wasn't, they didn't feel it was necessary for Leos to focus on that. Then when I did Capricorn, Spirit was given all kinds of descriptions, okay? Well, you guys, yeah, let's see. The cards aren't coming out, aren't popping out like they did with Capricorn. We have some, ooh, okay. Hold on a minute. All right. Oh, that's way too many cards. cards. This may be all this bird gives you. Okay, here we go. Because <laughs> spirit knew I was about to close. They're like, oh, and another thing. Okay, let them have it. All right. Okay, this is it. So the extent of the descriptions that spirit is going to give, keep in mind, this is a general love reading. Some of it may apply, all of it may apply, or none of it may apply. There's something significant about old, okay? Old, maybe from the past, okay? There is also a gambler involved. There's someone who is a gambler, okay? This gambler could be living or it could be in the ancestor realm. But there is someone who is a gambler that figures prominently here. Someone who likes to take risks, okay? There is someone who gambles, all right? There is also an ex-girlfriend, all right? So maybe this person is gambling with an ex-girlfriend, okay? Taking a risk or a chance with this ex-girlfriend. There's a grandmother, also grandmother energy here. So there, there could be a grandmother 
spirit that is around you, okay, that is protecting you, okay? There's also someone with short hair, um, and there's also someone who's fat, okay, who's got weight on them, all right? And um, that maybe your grandmother was short and heavy, okay? But there's someone in this story that has short hair above the shoulders and is fat, okay? There's also someone with long hair, okay? And it may be someone as it relates to the work that you do that is figuring prominently here. That long hair could be their own hair, it could be a wig, it could be a weave, all right? And then the card that came after that is a male, okay, who is uh, has African descent, okay? Um, and could be dealing with, um, and then the co-worker, under the co-worker worker card came the Caribbean or West Indian. Okay, so there's, there's, there's energies here having to do with an African, West Indian connection. There's something going on here, all right, as it relates to your story. If you'd like to explore deeper with me, you can definitely email me at ayabaswind, W-Y-N-D-999 at gmail.com. If you like what I'm doing, please like the video, definitely share, and certainly subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, I will be back um, for September um, 2021 and um, check me out then. But in the meantime, check the other readings um, to see if they're relevant and they apply to you. Ciao.